Electrical Machinists as we continue our live coverage of EMO 2023. And we are here back again inside DMG Mori City. Now we have something we haven't looked at yet in this show, and it is an additive hybrid machine. And to give us a scoop, I'm here with Thomas. Hi. Thank nice you very much you. for joining us today. Yeah. Now, what is this machine we're looking at here? So it's a hybrid machine. Um, hybrid means we have full milling functionality. We have a second tool inside, which add material. So it's like a 3D print printing system. But you, so in other words, I can print, mill, print, mill, essentially as much as I want. Exactly like that, yeah. So that means that you can do some geometries in there that I imagine you can't do with anything else. Exactly. This one is just uh, possible with that machine. The part is uh, a rocket nozzle. It's a real part. And the crazy thing at, uh, in this part is we have the outside. It's done with Inconel. Oh, it's, wow. Yeah. A very strong material. In, in the inside, we have a copper alloy. And normally it's not possible to to melt this or weld it together manually. So, but we do layer by layer and connect it and it's perfect. So this could actually print multiple materials, right? You're not just printing steel. You can print copper and ink canal or steel in the same part. Exactly. Wow. That's it. I take for, you know, the aerospace industry, um, you know, the really defense type stuff. This is really appealing to that. Now, when we're talking build size, what's the biggest part we can build in there? So that's the smallest machine, 65. We also have a bigger one, but in here we have a height of 380 millimeter. That's pretty big. Maximum. That's enough. And what's, is there, can you put a fairly heavy part on there if you want to mill as well? Also, uh, I'm not sure, 600 to 800 kilo. <laughs> a lot. A lot. <laughs> and the other thing, you know, you have to realize about this is that while this is an additive subtractive hybrid machine, if you wanted to, you could just use this like a mill. Of course. So if you had a job to go in, you could just pop it in. It's still a DMG Mori five axis mill. It is. Now, I would love to see that part. Is there any way we can take a peek at it? Yeah, sorry. Um, I cannot open the door during the exhibition. Let's go there. Sure. I have a finished one. Now, I'm guessing that this part is part of the DMG Mori city skyline. Of course. I think course. I saw this one here, but I did not take a close look at it. <laughs> you were also saying that this this isn't just a show piece. This is a real piece. That's a real piece. It will fly to the moon. Is that someday. what it's for? Yeah. A rocket nozzle. Okay. Um, yeah. Here you can see the two materials. Um, also, it's finished at the, with the uh, milling function. Yeah. Looks great. So that finish in there is straight off the mill. Yeah. That hasn't been polished. That hasn't no. been ground. That is straight mill. That's crazy. And I can see there, the other thing that's unique about this is that since it does use 3D printing, it looks like there's hollows that run the entire width of that part. And there you couldn't do that any other way aside from 3D printed. Yes, that's the, the special thing you can do just with our machine. Now, if people want to find out more about additive, subtractive, hybrid machines from DMG Mori, where can they go? Yeah, they can go to our booth, to your booth, to me and to my colleagues, of course. And of course, the website, I'm sure they can get all the information there. Sure. Thomas, thank you very much for joining hey, us. It was a pleasure.